Hi, and welcome to the second episode of TMA Trucks A to Z. My name is Samantha Schwartz, and I'm the Marketing Director for Royal Truck and Equipment. Today, we're gonna to talk about what GVWR means, what it is, and why it's really important to know when you're buying a TMA truck. So first things first, what does GVWR even mean? It means gross vehicle weight rating. Okay, this is important to know how much your truck weighs because of a lot of different reasons from safety to CDL, which we'll get into in a little bit, okay? So GVWR, how do they rate this truck? It's the weight of the truck and it includes this. It includes how much your chassis weighs, how much the body weighs, how much the engine weighs, how much the fluids weigh, how much the accessories weigh, and then how much cargo there is. So in reality, GVWR actually equals the weight of the truck totally empty, plus the maximum amount of weight that the truck can actually carry. So you're gonna get that total weight of your truck. Okay, now a TMA truck, if you were to go under CDL license weight, which is commercial driver's license, that means the truck has to weigh under 26,000 pounds. Very important because a CDL license can cost anywhere from $80 all the way up to $5,000 to find a driver with one of those. Yikes. Now what states require CDL license? Let's go check. So if we're looking at a map of the United States and you're wondering, does my state require CDL licenses for a truck that we're driving if it weighs under 26,000 pounds? Let's take a look. So we've got the map of the United States here. Now, if you live anywhere from California, Florida, Texas, Utah, no, you do not need a CDL license to drive your truck. But if you live in the lovely state of Illinois, right here, it does say that, you that we require a CDL license for any truck weighing over 16,000 pounds. That means you better make sure that if you have a job that is in Iowa that might travel through Illinois, that that driver, that attenuator truck, needs a CDL license. So what else does it mean if you live in Illinois? If your truck is built on an air brake chassis, you do need an air brake endorsement. Not difficult to get, but you do have to have a CDL license to get it. Any other state, you do not need an air brake endorsement. Anyone can get in that attenuator truck. Obviously, they're gonna be trained by their company how to drive it, but you do not need an air brake endorsement. So let's go learn at the truck what to look for to see how much that truck weighs. Let's go. Okay, so if you're in, sitting in your attenuator truck, what you're gonna do is look for the weight slip, okay? The weight slip is always gonna be, I mean, it depends what model, but it'll be in this nice little uh, package that's hanging on the back window here, and it's laminated, okay? And you're gonna find the weight of this truck. This is not the GVWR, this is the actual weight of the truck. So here, it is 21,140 pounds. Okay, that's the gross weight of this vehicle. All right, now let's go find out where to find the GVWR. So I'm at the attenuator truck and all you do to find that GVWR is you're gonna open the driver's side door and you're gonna look for this final stage manufacturer sticker, okay? It's gonna put it right here, GVWR, and it's 25,950 pounds. What does that mean? I do not need a CDL to drive this truck. So you're looking at around between four to 5,000 pounds of weight that you can put on that truck. Now, how do you know if the truck has been weighted properly or weighted safely? Well, the first thing that you can ask, obviously anyone that you're buying that truck from, is how did you weight that vehicle? Now, companies are gonna tell you, hopefully, that it's going to mostly be based off of the attenuator, okay? Whoever builds that attenuator now, there is about four to five different uh, types of attenuators in America, but those manufacturers of that attenuator are gonna have a weight requirement. The requirement that they think that the truck should be weighted in order for that attenuator to work properly. In this case, okay, this Scorpion manufacturer, which is Traffix, they regulate that the truck should weigh around 20,000 pounds. So, legally, are we okay with this attenuator truck out on the highway working properly? Yes, we are, because we just saw that it weighs a little over 21,000 pounds. All right, so I'm sitting here with World's Engineer Joe. Hi, Joe. Uh, so we just posed the question, how do you know if the truck has been weighted safely? Is this truck the safest it can possibly be at that weight out on the highway? So Joe, what are some things that someone can ask uh, whoever they're buying the truck from to know that it's been weighted properly and safely? The first thing you want to ask for sure is definitely, is there an engineering certificate? That's the first thing. Now what, what is that? So what that's going to do is the engineer is going to sign off and say that the ballast or whatever making up the weight of this truck isn't going to come free in the event of an impact, come a projectile. Oh, okay. So it doesn't injure anyone else in the work zone if it gets hit by, let's say, a semi-truck. Yeah. Okay. Right. How else is it, how can you tell if it's safe? 
Well, you want to make sure whatever they're reinforcing the truck with or putting weight in doesn't deteriorate over time. Okay. Um, you also want to make sure that it's you know properly secured in there. It's not going to move anywhere. It's safe. It's attached to the body. Again, you don't want this thing to become a projectile. Um, you also want to make sure that it's you know maintaining the center of gravity, so that way this truck doesn't roll ahead way too far. If the weight's way ahead, it's going to roll a lot farther when it gets hit right. compared to being centered. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you, Joe. I appreciate Not it, well. and I hope you guys learned a little bit more about GVWR, and I hope you tune in next week. Bye.